It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Friday, the 12th of February. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather will be very complex for the next five days as cold air covers at least the northern half of the state and a series of waves will be coming through. A lot to talk about, so let's dive right in. There's the upper look, and you've seen this look all week long. A deep vortex over Canada, the polar vortex, if you will. And underneath that, a very active southern branch of the jet stream, producing lots of winter weather mischief for parts of the southern U.S. Now, this morning, here's a look at the radar. We've got some light rain and drizzle falling through parts of the state. Temperatures are below freezing over the northwestern corner of Alabama. So there might be a little bit of uh, patchy bridge icing over that part of Alabama. Don't think it's anything widespread, but if you're around Florence, uh, Athens, Hamilton, Russellville, Haleyville, just be aware that there might be a couple of slick spots up in there this morning. But for most of the state, just cloudy, cold, and drizzly today. Now, there's a look at the numbers. You can see Haleyville at 32. That's the concern this morning up in that northwestern part of the state. Otherwise, mostly upper 30s and low 40s. And around the region, Memphis is sitting at 27. They've been below freezing for quite a while, and they'll stay below freezing for a while. So this is a messy map. Watch warning map. There are winter weather advisories for parts of West Tennessee and north and west Mississippi. That's for the possibility of some light freezing rain. Uh, late tonight and tomorrow morning, and then a lot of winter storm watches in effect for parts of Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas with this next uh, system that will affect them over the weekend. Here's the severe weather outlook through tonight. There could be a few isolated storms down in South Alabama today, today nothing severe. Tomorrow, a marginal risk over parts of the Florida Peninsula and pretty much the same thing on Sunday, which is day three. Rain and precipitation for the next seven days. Heavier totals up in the Pacific Northwest and down here in the southeast. For Alabama, rain amounts for most locations about one inch over the north, one to two inches for the south. So let's just get right into this here. Model fans, it'll be an interesting forecast stretch for us. This is the GFS, the 06 c run ballot today at three. Extremely cold vortex over Canada. You can see the waves in the southern branch. And for us, a cloudy day today. And maybe a little light rain. Uh, you know, it looked like initially the day could be fairly dry, but uh, guidance coming in showing some light rain and drizzle at times today. And highs for most of north and central Alabama in the 40s, 30s over the Tennessee Valley. But rain will be increasing tonight and into tomorrow morning. So this is tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. And again, there's evidence like this morning, the northwestern corner of the state might be below freezing, and there could be a bit of freezing rain there. And again, these are temperatures, and yeah, you can see that the high-res NAM showing mostly 31 to 34 up and through there. But uh, just be aware that tomorrow morning, if you're in the northwestern corner of the state, there might be a few slick spots, much like the situation this morning. Then by tomorrow afternoon at 3, the bulk of that rain moving out. Uh, otherwise, the day will be cloudy, cold, 30s for the Tennessee Valley, 40s for north central Alabama. Now, this is Sunday, much of the day dry, same thing, 40s for places like Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, 30s for the Tennessee Valley. Now, Sunday night at midnight with this next wave, and by the way, look to the west, just big snows falling over much of Texas and Oklahoma, but there could be some light freezing rain for parts of north and west Alabama as early as Sunday night mainly north of Interstate 59. And then this is Monday off the GFS. Same thing, uh, potential for some freezing rain for parts of north and west Alabama. The European has a little different solution. It's got that next wave kind of coming in here Monday night. That's Monday at 3. This is Monday night at midnight. Same thing, better chance of icing for northwest Alabama. So this is the potential ice accumulation off the GFS. And those numbers are not good. You don't want to see a half inch of ice for sure. But for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, most likely this will be just a cold rain. But north of there, there could be some icing. This is the European freezing rain potential. And you can see it's got the, that field a little farther north and west. So obviously there's going to be some forecast changes. But just be aware, Sunday night, Monday, Monday night, there could be some icing over parts of north and west Alabama, north of Interstate 59, that could bring impact in terms of travel. Power outages, that remains to be seen. We can be really much more focused on this once we get within 60 hours in the 
uh, range of the high resolution models. So this is Tuesday. During the day, all that's gone. Uh, we're just cold and dry. Wednesday, the next wave taking shape off to the west, and this is Thursday, a surface low coming right up through Alabama. So Thursday would be wet with rain. There could be some thunderstorms for southeast Alabama. And this is a week from today, Friday the 19th, a big deep trough coming through and everything pulling away, maybe a few flurries on the back side of that. But for now, it looks like nothing meaningful. We'll go out 10 days. This is Sunday the 21st, another trough coming down across the Plain States, and we are dry and not as cold on this look. So this is the snow for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. And again, snow lovers will get excited to see most of the members showing a few snowflakes. This is for the backside of that departing system, most likely, toward the end of next week in about a week. And typically on the backside of a system like that, you get flurries and that's it. Although one or two members show more than that. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean about two to two and a half inches between now and the 26th of February. And these numbers are for Birmingham off the national blend of models. If you're north and west of Birmingham, your numbers will be probably a lot lower. Uh, but again, you can see Tuesday, the high dropping to 42, the low Tuesday morning, 27. And the latest CPC outlook for the 19th through the 25th of February, showing temperatures once again below average down here across the deep south. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.